Annyeonghaseyo, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a drama review. This is a drama that I actually watched back in October of 2015 but for some reason I never got around to filming a review of it so I'm doing that now. Today I'm going to be reviewing Marriage Not Dating, also known as Marriage Without Love, Marriage Without Dating. It has many titles. This is one of the most popular dramas of 2014. It stars Yeon Woo Jin and Han Gru along with Jun Jin Woon and Han Sun Hwa. Marriage Not Dating is about a plastic surgeon who does not want to get married but his family is pressuring him to get married and he really doesn't want to. So when he meets this crazy woman who is very enthusiastic about getting married, he brings her home to meet his family with the idea that they will never approve of her. So I'm sure you can guess, it doesn't go exactly as he plans. Marriage Not Dating, like I said, came out in 2014 and it was one of the highest rated dramas or at least most popular dramas that year. There's definitely a reason why. I really, really liked it. It was romantic, hilarious, heartfelt. It was like everything I wanted in a drama. Marriage Not Dating is actually very unique because the episode format is a little different from what regular dramas use. Every episode started with the last scene of that episode. They'd show something crazy going on and you'd have no idea how that happened or what was going on. And then they'd skip back and be like 24 hours before the incident. And then they'd show exactly how that situation happened and everything that led up to it. So there were cliffhangers at the end of episodes but it was also like there were cliffhangers at the beginning of episodes. So like once you started watching an episode you couldn't really stop because you had to see why that thing was happening. It was absolutely insane. This drama is definitely a rom-com. Heavy on the comedy and the comedy is like insanity funny. Like everything is crazy. The female lead is like insane and I love her. She was so great. She caused so much trouble. But the interesting episode format definitely was refreshing and I've never seen anything quite like it. And it made the episodes even funnier because by the time we actually got to the scene they showed it at the beginning of the episode it was totally different from what you thought it would be and it was hilarious and you're just like how does this even happen? So that was totally awesome. The acting was awesome. I really liked the chemistry between the cast members. I had not seen Yeon Woo Jin or Han Gru in anything before now but they were awesome. I really liked them and their chemistry was awesome. Yeon Woo Jin definitely pulled off the surgeon bachelor that wants to stay a bachelor. He is very grumpy and kind of serious and cynical and Hongru was just she's very eager to get married and she's over the top but together they were hilarious I loved it. There were some scenes where Han Gru's character got drunk. It was great. It was so funny. One of the things I really liked about Marriage Not Dating was the characters. I don't think there were really any characters that I hated. I actually really liked both mothers in this show because there was the mother of the male lead and there's the mother of the female lead and they were both very very different. And the show actually deals a lot with family. Despite it being primarily a rom-com, the family plays a big part in this because our two main characters are in a relationship and the families are coming together assuming that their kids will get married so they're kind of clashing and preparing for a fake wedding. It's completely insane. The moms are actually really great. The mom of the male lead, she comes off as one of those typical K-drama evil moms at first but there's so much to her and I really liked how the show explored the character depth in characters other than the main characters. We got a lot of depth in side characters but especially the parents. Like these are some of my favorite K-drama moms just because they're so complex. There's so much more to them than what we usually get and all their actions actually made sense especially once we got explanation of why they were the way they were. It was just so well done. It was well fleshed out. This show definitely made me feel a range of emotions. While it was mostly funny there were some scenes that made me tear up. I have a very weak spot for parent-child relationships. There were some scenes where I just I teared up. I didn't cry. I didn't like full-out ugly cry but there were some tears. This show was a very nice balance of humor, cuteness, and then serious moments. It just f was very well-rounded. As for the rest of the characters, there are second male and female leads as well as two other side characters that aren't really the second male and female leads but they also kind of had their own story arc going on and they do a lot of interactions with the main characters and I really liked all the characters. I had a love-hate relationship with both the male and female second leads. Sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, thank you for doing that, you're great, and then I'm like, I want to strangle you. I was very conflicted but in the end I most I liked them for the most part because it was 
mostly comedic. It wasn't too serious. Even though there was kind of a love triangle or two in this show, it wasn't heavy on that aspect, so I thought it was okay. And I actually ended up liking some of the characters more than I thought I would. Like the side characters that weren't the second leads, I actually ended up really liking them and like their story arc. And they were just, they were great. And the whole cast had really great chemistry, so that was awesome. The soundtrack was really catchy too. I actually didn't think much of it at first. Like there were some songs that were really catchy, but when I realized that I hadn't done a review for this yet and I was pulling up the soundtrack to kind of jog my memory, I'm like, oh my gosh, I really like this song. Why was I not like this while I was watching the drama? So the soundtrack actually has some really good songs. They're not iconic or anything like My Destiny or Almost Paradise, but they're really good and they're really catchy and they fit the show. There's a lot of quirky instrumental pieces that are played in the background that just add to the comedy and then there's some um, vocal pieces that are really awesome as well. So overall, I really, really liked Marriage Not Dating. It was a consistent show. I liked how even the last episode still went along with the th whole crazy, insanity, quirky, wacky theme of the show. It was insanity to the very end, and that was great. I loved that. It was a very consistent show, and it was lots of fun. I would highly recommend watching it. It's unlike any K-drama I've ever seen, just because the whole style is different from all of the other dramas I've watched. And I actually rated it an 8.5 out of 10 and I can definitely see why it was considered one of the most popular dramas of 2014. So if you haven't watched Marriage Not Dating, definitely do that. If you have watched it, leave me a comment and we can discuss. Tell me what your favorite part was, your favorite character. Did you like the moms? I would love to discuss. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and Hannah and I will be back soon with more videos. Anyang.